that is why when Vince called me a couple of weeks ago and said, hey, I just finished up the deal with Paul Dainty in Australia, and we would like you to wrestle there, I said, hell yeah. Wrestle, oh man, and remember at the WWE Super people, Showdown? Melbourne, Australia, Super Showdown, hell yeah. You're all for and this. Said, and we would like you to step into the ring against The Undertaker. The Phenom! The game versus the Phenom, it's like amazing. And said, hell no. Why? <laughs> Why? For if there's one that stands out head and shoulders against all the others. It's a moment that is ingrained in my brain and will never come out. It's a moment at the end of the Hell in a Cell match between me and The Undertaker. Oh, that Matches was back six, six years ago. Era. That was six years ago. And myself, The Undertaker, and Shawn Michaels stood at the top of that ramp at the end of that night. <sighs> that was a that was a genuine moment right here. That was that was a genuine moment right here. I miss Shawn Michaels, man. That brings so many memories. Man. We've gone through a lot. So I will say this. That moment is about as real as it gets in this business. That is a moment between the three of us of mutual respect that none of us will ever forget. I'm standing there, freaking Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, two of the biggest icons in this business ever. Two guys, arguably, who you could say are as responsible as anybody for all of this. Man. And that... But that moment changed us. It changed the three of us in a way we didn't expect help. We knew it was the end of an era, but not like that. It, it, it chained us. Man. It, um, it, it, it did something to us inside where right after this happened, Shawn Michaels was gone. The streak would be dead. <sighs> The Undertaker would put his hat and his gloves in the middle of this ring and he would... About a year ago. And I would take off this suit. I'd cut off my tape. I'd take off my boots. I'd put this suit on. And I would leave. And it would be over. All of it was over. The era had ended. The, the, for the three of us, and we've talked about this, for the three of us, it changed. Everything changed. The sound was gone. The feeling was gone. The goosebumps that we would all get was gone. It was the end of an era, and I gotta tell you, <sighs> without sounding like so a many memories legend, of the past, our era was something special. We still got it though. You still want to face The Undertaker though. The match is already made. Triple H versus Undertaker one last time. So for the same respect reason that I said no, I picked up the phone and I called Vince back and I said call Dainty in Australia and tell them I'm in. I will take off this suit. Bring back the I game. Will take back up. I will lace up my boots and I will be the game again. Yes, the game that we know from day one. If, if the Undertaker will pick up that hat one more time. One last time. I would like to see that match. So October 6th, Melbourne, Australia, Super Show.
showdown. 80,000 people in attendance. The room watching. The sound will be back. The feeling will be back. The goosebumps will be back because the era is back. Man, I I feel it. Melbourne, Australia, the Undertaker and the game one last time. Indeed. I cannot believe that we are going to witness this epic rivalry. This is gonna be incredible. Just one last time, I'm down for it. The era. Wow. <laughs>